Geometry OST, spring at 21, number 18. I saw these triangle JKL has a perimeter of 32 units and the given vertices. Uh, what is a possible x coordinate for point L? So I would say this is a mixture between topic 4 on triangles and topic 9 on coordinate geometry. I'm going to go ahead and just graph these uh, two points that I know, J and K, using the graphing calculator. So I'm going to bring it up here. Uh, I'm going to bring it over here so I know that J. Uh, or I should not, negative 3, negative 9, and I can label it as J here, and then K is negative 3, 6, and I can label it as K there, right? Um, I can connect them if I want to, let me zoom out so I can see. Okay, so there they are. So, and I know that the other uh, value is at X, or other point is at X, negative 1 half. So, um, you know, just for kicks, right, I'm going to, make up uh, x value like 2, negative 1 half, right? So there's the other one, right? So the idea is that where does this have to be so that this is an isosceles triangle, okay? All right, well, if I do connect these real fast, and let me show you how to do that real fast. If you just put them all in the same line of work, right? So negative 3, negative 9, negative 3, 6. Uh, I'm going to do 2, negative 1.5. And then I'm going to do negative 3, 9 again. Negative, right? So then I can connect them. Uh, oh, I thought I could. Hold on. Oh, lines. There. Okay. So there's your triangle, right? So the idea is where does this point have to be so that it's an isosceles triangle with a perimeter of, with a perimeter of 32, right? Well, I know what JK is. The length of JK can be found. By counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15. So if you do 32 minus 15, that's 17. So you have 17 between these two lengths, but these two must be the same. So let's divide 17 by 2. And I get 8.5. So we need the length of this to be 8.5 or the length of this to be 8.5. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw this imaginary dotted line right? I need to know what this x has to be so that this is 8.5. Well, this is just a Pythagorean theorem question, right? If you look here, right, we know this has to be 8.5. This right here must be cut in half as well. So half of 15 is 7.5. This must be, let's find the third length. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it a, right? Pythagorean theorem. Let's find that third length and we're going to count that distance from negative 3. And we can actually go to the right or left, as we'll talk about at the end. So this is Pythagorean theorem, right? So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 8.5 is your c. That is my a. 7.5 is my b. So a squared plus 7.5 squared equals 8.5 squared. Okay, we'll do a squared plus in my calculator here. Let me make that go away. Let's do 7.5 squared. That's 56.25. So a squared plus 56.25 equals, and then we'll do 8.5 squared uh, equals 72.25. I will subtract the 56.25 on both sides to get a squared equals, and I'll just do it right here. So uh, we'll do 72.25 minus 56.25. That's 16. And you take the square root of that. If you don't know what the square root of 16 is, a uh, way to do it here is you have the keyboard right down here. Click on that keyboard, square root of 16. And it's 4. So I know that this A value is 4. That means that this point must be 4 away from this vertical line which is at negative 3. So we count 4 to the right from negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be the point of 1, negative 1. 1.5. We could also go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left at negative 7, negative 1. 1.5. But either x value would be good. Uh, so your choices are 1 or negative 7. So in my answer box there, I'll just type in one, and there we go.